Hi guys, it's Frans. Welcome to a channel on Monday, week 121. First thing I want to do is clear that pinkish border that I have on my paper, because pink is not what I have in mind today. Uh, what I do have in mind is a very, very simple quick spread. I just want to play around a little. And no one ever said that working in your art channel is by definition something that needs to be complicated. It might be something very simple, just like I'm doing today. So after covering that with gesso, I'm drawing a line so that I have, um, so that I know up until where I want to have my modeling paste going, which I'm applying now, just using a palette knife and trying to get some texture but not too much, but some texture. I also want to add some at the top of the paper, but I do want to keep some of the paper visible. That's why I wanted to have that line to know where to work. Now there's a quite a layer there, so I'm just leaving it to air dry for as long as it takes. I'm taking some Color Art Clear Glaze to which I'm adding uh, some primary elements and this is Honey Amber, which is one of the colors of my color kits. And as usual, you'll find the complete list of ingredients on my blog and the link to that is underneath this video in the description. I also added some water to it and now I'm applying it with a blending tool. Now there's still a spot of uh, modeling paste that's not dry, that's why I'm going in with the heat gun. Second color is Winter Ice. And I do have quite some shades of gray in my color kits because there's no such thing as too much gray. And I didn't mix enough of it, so I need to make some more. A second shade of grey which is hunter grey this time and I really want to create a gradient going all the way to black uh, at the edge of the paper.
And now I can go in with the black, which is black eyes in this case. I want to accentuate that line that I first draw with a pencil, so I'm going in with a paintbrush with the same mixture of black eyes with the clear glaze, and I'm just applying it with a paintbrush. It took me uh, one hour to do the video without counting the drying time for uh, the modeling paste. Like I said, I wanted to have something simple, quick, yet it does tell something. To me, this page has a meaning, and that's what I want in my art channel. I'm not looking for fancy, pretty looking pages. I'm looking for something that tells me something about me. This is my art journal, like you would keep um, a regular journal. So I'm adding water to that line so that I can make it drip down. Now that it's completely dry, I can go in with the next layer and of course I need to add some autumn leaf rust in a jar. So I'm mixing up my autumn leaf primary element with the clear glaze and using a makeup sponge I'm adding details to the spread. And I really like how this color pops against the background, that was really what I was looking for. I am remixing some of that autumn leaf with the clear glaze and the fun thing about making your own mixture is that you can choose just how saturated you want the color to be. I made my second mixture richer than the first one and this way I will have um, a difference in those details on my spread. I want to add some more background details and this time I'm using Tim Holtz rubber ons 
So I'm cutting out the part that I do want to use because I always have accidents with my rub-ons. So this way I can avoid all accidents and just use the part that I want to use. And then I'm just rubbing it on in place. The rub-on is looking too crisp. I wish I had had some more accidents this time, but I didn't. So I'm going in with sanding paper. Now my sanding paper is a little bit too rough, so I'm trying to be careful not to damage too much of the background. But I do want to damage the rub-on to make it a little grungier than it looks now. By scraping uh, the rub-on, I also scrape part of the details that I added. So I'm going back in with the autumn leaf mixed up with the clear glaze and I'm going back on top of the rub-on to re-accentuate that part of the background. I want to add this little wooden frame. So to give it some more texture, I am applying heavy gesso with a sponge. And once dry, I'm going in with that same autumn leaf to give it a rusty look. I'm also adding a little bit of a gray, but first I'm adding a darker shade of that autumn leaf, a more saturated version of it. And then just a little bit of, um, I think it's hunter gray that I'm using here. And to complete that rusty look, it needs some touches of blue. Very, very lightly. So I'm using teal zircon. Again, mixed with the glaze. I also want to add some stamping and I'm using my vintage bill which I designed for a stamp boutique and some mixed media inks chalks. So just stamping randomly and I used a piece of uh, kitchen roll to protect the parts that I don't want to have any stamping on. I'm using this Studio Calico stamp to add some wording and the wording says kind of a big deal and I really like the contrast between what it says and how it says it because it's a very very fine and uh, small uh, font. To that I'm adding one of my homemade little hearts 
And if you want to know how to make these, you have to take a class in person because that's where I share that info. And now I'm just looking on how I want to frame everything. Now that my frame is in place with brads, I can just glue down the little heart. That's it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go and do some art journaling. And see you back next time. Ta-da!